Welcome back, Love Tribe. It's Tracy with TR's Tarot Talk 1111. I am here doing the Capricorn Zodiac reading for the 1st through the 15th of July. Uh, guys, um, We di I did, you won't know this until later today, but uh, last night was our live. And I'm so grateful that our friend Stephanie, part of our Love Tribe over here, is the winner of the gratitude drawing. And so the only announcements I'd like to tell today is don't forget that Patreon has been launched and for $4.44 a month, you can get extended readings for each of these Zodiacs, which are uploaded on the 1st and the 15th of each month. Okay, so congratulations, Steph, if you're watching. Um, also, uh, we are now starting a new gratitude drawing which I haven't quite figured out yet exactly what's going to be in it. I'm going to be doing a little shopping on Amazon today. And so look for in the next couple of days an announcement of what will be in that gratitude drawing. It will be, um, we will go live and draw on the last day of August. Uh, so watch for that. Um, oh, and because my birthday is July 11th, I will be out of town from the 11th through the 18th, and um, I kind of like to do a special for uh, private readings, for the pre-recorded private readings. They're usually $100, but in, in honor of my birthday, I would like to give back to those who have so graciously supported me over the last couple of years. So guys, I am going to lower the price half price just for the month of July. So you can purchase it in the month of July and book it out into August if you need to, but it must be paid for in July to get the half off price of $50. It will be a pre-recorded private reading uploaded uh, with a private link to YouTube for you to view at your discretion. <laughs> all right. So those are all my announcements. That was pretty good for two minutes and 30 seconds. Let's bring you down Capricorn to your reading today. I am hoping I can channel spirit nice and clearly today. Yesterday it was so hot and muggy. Today the uh, the heat index is down. The, the uh, humidity is down and I'm feeling pretty darn good. So pull up a chair, get you a cup of coffee, pause the video, get your jammies on, whatever you need to do. You need to take that bra off, take your bra off, let your hair down. If you're a man, take your shirt off. I don't know, whatever men do to get comfortable. All right, Capricorn, this is your overall energy for the 1st through the 15th of July. This is your finances and career. I drew a indicator card. And this is your love and romance, also an indicator card. We've got clarifiers and lots of advice. So let's take a look. What is your overall energy for the 1st through the 15th? <clears throat> Pardon me. Work through your fears. See, I showed it to you before I showed it to me. New moon in Scorpio. Hmm. So Capricorn, before we get into this, I'd like you to just take a moment and reflect where in your life right now are you feeling fear? Is it around a decision? Is it around a loss? Is it around something that you see leaving because it has been... Um, the eclipse season, a lot of times people, places, situations leave us. Uh, sometimes we walk away from them. But ask yourself, where are you feeling fear in some respect in your life at this time? And I'd like you to just take a moment and release that. Let that go to spirit. Move into a place of faith and a place of flow and a place of trust. Because if there's one thing that I have learned as an oracle and as a teacher and, and quite frankly as the student, which is what I am more often than anything else, 
um, is that fear is always there to hold you back. That's all. Once you clear and transmute the fear, sky is the limit. Okay, we are omnipotent souls. We are we are immortal. Nothing can harm the light. Nothing. Yes, we can have experiences that are painful, but it's all in how we are vibrationally, right? If you're in the vibration of love, I can promise you, you will not be harmed or hurt in any way. All right, so we're going to transmute this fear together. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to take a look now at your finances for the first three. Oh, look at that. That's nice. So this is you working together with others, working well together with others in order to create like your own masterpiece, right? The three of pentacles is a collaboration. It's it's somebody with the skills and somebody with the finance, financial backing and somebody possibly with connections, who knows, right? But it is a collaboration. It's being willing. You have to be willing to work with others and to, to play nice, right? <clears throat> when this card comes up, it tells me that whatever is happening in your financial energy at this time, the 1st through the 15th, um, be willing to work with others. You can't, you know, if you, if you try to shut down and not ask for help or not seek guidance or even just, you know, collaborating, like maybe you're really good at one thing, but you're not so good at the other and you need the other to make the one thing work. So you get a hold of a professional and you seek guidance or you pay, you, um, Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, um, oh, there's a word. There's a word. It's not coming to me, but we'll, I think you understand what I'm talking about, right? <clears throat> Freelance. You could get a hold of somebody who freelances to take care of the parts that you don't know how to take care of. All right. So work well with others. Let's take a look at the clarifiers. So we have the four of winter. So the four of swords is a repose. It's kind of taking a breath, taking a break. Um, it says set aside your concerns for now. You can make a decision later. Solutions that come from meditation or the need for more sleep or a vacation. So, you know, perhaps you need a vacation. Perhaps you're going on vacation. A lot of people are. It's July, right? Uh, so you might have to delegate. You might have to, um, you know, in order for you not to have to do all the work, you might have to get a hold of somebody else, <coughs> excuse me, to take care of the dogs, mow the lawn, get your mail, <laughs> right? Um, watch your phone, take care of the incoming messages. Whatever it is, you might need to collaborate in order to take a little bit of a break. And then we have Princess of Summer, gentle, sensitive, kind, and inexperienced. A new relationship or an emotional experience. Invitation to social events. A compassionate friend you can share your concerns with. So again, <clears throat> this could be somebody that you, you know, uh, get a hold of to help you while you take a break. This could be somebody that comes in and gives you the advice that you need so that you can quit stressing over something, right? Um, this can literally be somebody inviting you to come to their beach house for a week. This is the energy I'm getting off of this. This is somebody who is going to help you financially, because it looks like you might need a break. Let's see what the other cards say. Go with the flow. What did I say up here with the fears? Right? Go with the flow. You might have been really stressed out because of whatever this is over here. And that's why you're needing this four of swords. You might need a little break, a little shutdown time, 
somebody else is here in your energy, this page of cups. This is somebody that's going to help you with whatever this is, okay? Go with the flow. Your affirmator card says success. See, there's nothing to worry about. I succeed. I only succeed. There's no such thing as failure. So I'm eliminating the F-bomb from my vocabulary. Missing the bullseye is not failure. It's how I learned to better my aim. And if we really want to get into it, there should be no such thing as a bullseye anyway, because sometimes wandering in an unexpected direction leads you to the best darn parts of being alive. So F off bullseye, whole different F bombs. <clears throat> I apologize, guys, I'm losing my voice. Allergy season for me. So look, spirit's telling you, rest your mind, trust in the divine. We're going to send you help some way, somehow. We're going to send you help, whether it's an invitation for some downtime or it's somebody who's willing to hold the reins while you take some time off. But if you're afraid of something failing, then spirit is sending somebody to help you to overcome that. OK, they're going to help you build this, whatever it is that you've been worried about. Let's take a look at your tea leaves. Oh, uh, look, you have happiness. Happiness. It's the sun, guys. It's the astral house. So maybe you're a cancer. <laughs> no, Tracy. Well, you can be because you could be watching this uh, cross watching or you could be watching your moon rising or Venus. But this is the sun sign, right? <clears throat> happiness, joy. This just feels to me like you're working something out that you're stressing over. Maybe you tried something and it didn't work out. Maybe you tried to do it all alone. And Spirit's saying, here, let us send you some help so that you can get it right. Because success is, is here for you and happiness. But you're going to have to turn it over. You're going to have to trust and... <clears throat> You might even have to trust somebody else to help you make that that mark, right? Hit that mark. Bo, <clears throat> you are highly thought of. See? What are you worried about over here? We have not unsuccessful plans. So this is probably the fear thing. Either you're afraid that it's not going to work out for you and you're going to miss the mark, or perhaps you took a shot. And you missed the mark and the plans fell through. It didn't quite go the way you wanted it to. But what spirit's telling you is if that you, so if you get in this energy of happiness and flow and work through your fears, somebody else is here to help you to make the mark, to hit the mark. Okay. You might have to trust that you don't have to do it alone. You know, the hardest thing for me sometimes is to ask for help. It really is. Because somehow, some way in my mind, I associate asking for help with failure. You know? <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Guys, holy crap. Let me take a drink of my coffee. Might need to gargle with it. <laughs> All right, so... I'm not worried about you. I think you're just a little stressed because maybe you tried something and it didn't quite turn out the way you wanted it to. And Spirit's saying, you know what, here, let us send somebody to help you. You know, you need to rest, be happy, be in the flow, let go of your fears, and success is yours. And you are highly thought of. So when you ask for help, people are not going to resent that. They're going to say, wow, you know, I would love to help you. I really honor and respect your work, and, and I think I could possibly be good at whatever it is you're trying to do, and I, I would love to help. So people think highly of you, all right? So don't stress. That's your advice for the 1st through the 15th of July. <clears throat> My goodness. 
Maybe I have to get a cough drop for the next video. <laughs> oh, okay, so love and romance. Look at that. Knight of Cups. Here comes that knight in shining armor, right? Here's the one that's your champion. This is the one that, that really, really has feelings and wants to bring them to you. <coughs> Oh, and look at, they're going to cross a river for you, too. That tells me that there's a lot of feelings here. Oh, look at how beautiful, guys. So you're showing up in your own reading. Queen of Pentacles, right there you are, Capricorn. And this is a divine partnership, two of cups. Kudos to you, man. Somebody that is, is meant for you. Somebody who is your divine partner, at least for now, right? Because sometimes we get more than one in life. But for the now moment, this is the person that that you're meant to, to travel forward with. And it's very divinely being guided, right? They see you as you are. Hold on a minute. I'm getting a download for you. <clears throat> I'll accept you as you are. You don't have to be a star, baby, to be in my show. I don't know. See, I'm feeling like you're, you've been a little down, feeling unworthy. You know, and usually you're so nurturing and so loving to others. I feel like you've got a champion. You've got somebody that loves you, that wants to come in. And they, they're they going to love you as you are. <laughs> they're going to love you as you are. All right? You don't have to be an overachiever. You don't have to do it all by yourself. You've got somebody here that wants to do it with you. Let's take a look at your advice. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And a lot of times the Queen of Pentacles also shows up in a reading as a mother figure. I, I feel like it's probably your energy, but <clears throat> take a look at your parents. You know, was your father, what was the dynamic between your mom and dad? Because we role model from those parents, don't we? It's like... Um, you know, if you've got a very loving mom and dad that always supported one another, they hugged and kissed in front of you. Um, they always included one another in their day or, you know, they had rituals that they would do when they come home from work. <clears throat> you know, if you came from a loving and nurturing atmosphere and if you didn't, then you might want to take a look at that and and cut a cord between what they were and what you are, because you are obviously an adult and you are not them, right? So maybe it's some it's time to do some healing around what you believe relationships are supposed to look like, or your fear that a relationship is going to look like theirs did and not like what you want yours to. It's going to be different for each of you because it is a general reading. But take a look at the family dynamic, okay? And ask yourself, what is my biggest fear to allowing a divine partnership to come into my life? Because, I, you know, I really feel like with that song that came through for you, whoever this person is, they see your value, they see your worth, and they're going to accept you and love you just as you are. <clears throat> and that might be new to you. That could be something that you haven't experienced this far, thus far in your life, right? Take what resonates. You're going to know. I mean, we all know what our family mess was, right? I had very loving parents, but they weren't demonstrative. There's a difference, right? Uh, different types of love language. I know deep down in my heart that my mom and dad loved each other beyond words, but they weren't touchy-feely. <clears throat> and so 
growing up and getting in relationships, I kind of craved touchy-feely. And yet, when I found somebody who was touchy-feely, it was a little bit of a put-off. And I think there was a cognitive dissonance there, you know, between what my head wanted and what my heart wanted um, because of a belief system I had that maybe that's not the way love's supposed to be, even though I craved it. So just sit in your energy and ask a few questions because it looks like something very beautiful is wanting to come in for you. Yeah, true love. Look at this, guys. True love. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. See, for me, I wanted that, right? I, I really haven't found it yet. I'm learning to give that to myself, and probably you have too, because that's usually when we align with this kind of a partnership is when we finally have done some inner work and some healing around belief systems that possibly could have been holding us um, out of that flow, right? That flow. All right, so next you have recognition. See, when you see this person, you're just going to know that's my person. And they're going to know you're their person. This is beautiful. This is a really beautiful reading, guys. Let's take a look. Don't forget, I'm going to go deeper into this over in Patreon. So we have cobweb, web, protected from negative forces beyond your control. So you've got spirit just weaving an energy around you of protection because this is a divine partnership. This is meant for you. You will recognize it. It's true love. I do feel like there might be some healing that you've probably already done because when you align with something like this, it's because something has shifted. So kudos to you. You know, it, you might be fearful that you're not ready, not ready to shoot your shot, right? But I think you are, and I know that spirit knows you are, and they're protecting you. So we have horse, short journey. <clears throat> Look at you got horse and unicorn. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. Short journey. Your person might be coming to you because look, they're on a horse, <laughs> at least in the tarot, right? It might be a metaphysical. Meta metaphoric horse, but they are on their way. So maybe this person has to travel towards you. You might have to travel toward them. You might meet them on a vacation. But this is going to be instant recognition, right? With use your intuition, you're going to know. You're going to know. And if this person comes in and you fall into fear, Use your intuition to clear that too, because it's surrounding your family dynamic, how you grew up, what you learned about love in the family unit. Okay. Well, we're going to get deeper answers over in Patreon and guys, it's only 444 a month. So if you're interested, there'll be a link in the description box below. Look at that birth, birth. This is brand new guys. For some of you, this is brand new. Another gateway appears in view. New life is unfolding with blessings to you. So isn't it funny? Unsuccessful plans. Sometimes things have to go wrong in order to go so right. So like I said, this looks beautiful. I don't think you're going to, you know, if, if you feel like I'm tapping into your energy, then I am, I'm very happy for you. If this doesn't resonate, check your moon, your rising, your Venus sign. But this is a beautiful reading. All you have to do, my biggest advice to you in the month, in the beginning of July is to be in flow, to re release any fears, might even want to do a little shadow work around fear, right? And release it, move into flow. You've got happiness right here on the table and something new wanting to be born that is so lovely. I wish... I was a Capricorn. <laughs> I'm wondering, do I have Capricorn in my chart? I think I do. I don't remember where, what house. But it's definitely not my sun sign. <clears throat> so I love you guys. I hope this helped. And if you'd like to join me over in Patreon to go a little deeper into who this person is and, you know, 
how you can be open to receive. And we're going to take a look at, at maybe some more guidance on your finances. Although I do think that spirits kind of spoken over there. Um, flow. <laughs> That's flow. Let me introduce you to my friend flow. I love you guys. I'm just being silly. I will talk to you later. Namaste.